everybody. Thanks for joining all the great folks in the studio here. I'm Dave Brown along with Corey Macklin, and we are set to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Special day coming up today because some of the matches coming up this week for world titles will be determined by matches here today. That's Corey? right. That's right, Dave. What a great card we've got today. The USWA Open Door Policy has brought a lot of great wrestlers to the area, and in a tag team battle today, we'll see Masters and Sawyer, who are the former world tag team champion Former, right they lost those belts they'll be facing the black kite and the spirit of america that's going to be a good bout today and in our main event world tag team title bout the new world tag team champions tennessee stud robert fuller and young gun mike mitchell defend their belts against the team dave that we've seen in the area they've traveled all around the country they're back here today they will be challenging for the titles in the ring, the Moon Dog. A couple of great matches coming up. Yeah. The winners of those matches will face each other later this week for the USWA World Tag Titles. You stay with us. It looks like it is going to be a great day today. We'll be back with opening action after this. <laughs> Corey told you a couple of moments ago, Masters and Sawyer, the former USWA World Tag Title holders, are going to be out here a little bit later on trying to earn a rematch for the World Tag Titles. They had a couple of words about the situation, and here they are right now. The USWA must be out of their mind. It was a fluke. It could never happen again. Robert Fuller, Young Gun, we made one mistake. We underestimated you. We won't make that mistake again, but we can't even get a shot at you. We gotta wrestle the spirit of America and the Black Cat. I'm sure they're good wrestlers, but they ain't near the caliber of the bad boy and the pretty boy. The USWA, we should get a return match Monday night. But no, they say we gotta earn it. Well, spirit, Black Cat, anything that stands between us and the USWA World Tag Team titles is going down. Ain't that right, pretty boy? You people out in TV land, you're used to tuning us in every week and seeing us world tag team champions. I can't explain what happened. All I know is nobody got guts to get it in the ring with me and the bad boy because we are former world tag team champions. We, no matter who we got to go by, we're going to beat them and we're going to become y'all's world tag team champions. Masters and Sawyer thinking they should immediately, whenever it is, today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever, is have that uh, rematch. But uh, they're going to have to earn it. That's just the way it's set up here today. Coming into the ring right now, the Warrior rolls in, and the Scorpion heads out. We are just about set to go with this <laughs> opening match. A one-fall 15-minute time limit event. The Scorpion now back into the ring. Referee Frank Morrell is there, and the Warrior is set to go. As soon as we get the six, oh, the Scorpion nails him from behind. The Warrior up there celebrating, uh, greeting the crowd on the... Uh, Whoa, oh, look at that. Yeah, big close run by the Warrior, Dave, and he... Takes the Scorpion into the rope, comes on, big job kick on the Scorpion. The Scorpion thought he was starting to spout off right by jumping the Warrior from behind. The Warrior on his feet now. Whoa, big slam on the Scorpion. This battle is supposed to be one ball, 15 minutes in time. There's the one, two, three, but it's already over. Warrior, our first look at him, David. Well, we, we've got That's about it. 14 minutes left out of that time oh, limit, as a yeah. matter of fact. The Warrior didn't take much time at all. Scorpion jumped him from behind before the opening bell sounded and then immediately turned and went to work, pinning the Scorpion, getting a nice victory here. Good, uh, good uh, uh, display by uh, the Warrior as yeah. he defeats the uh, Scorpion here. I tell you what, we've got a got another tag team. We had Masters and uh, Sawyer just a few moments ago. The team of the Black Cat. We saw him for the first time here on TV last week. And he's teamed with the Spirit of America. They are going to be going against Master and Sawyer in just a few minutes. Here's what they had to say about the upcoming match. People to mid-size. We're at tag team capital of the world today, Memphis. And me, Spirit of America, and my good friend, the Black Cat, we're going after the gold. We're going all the way for the tag team titles. Pretty boy and a bad boy. I don't see nothing too pretty about them. I don't see nothing too bad about them. But when we get them in the ring with my powerful, devastating clothesline, did you ever see my man go off the top rope? Oh, nobody gets up from that. And I'll tell you what, we don't care who we got to go through. The Moon Dogs, the tag team champions right now, you watch out because we're on our way to the top, brother. And you better believe it. We're coming at you. Yeah. <laughs>
Doug Masters, Bart Sawyer, former USWA World Tag Team Champions in the ring. They claim it was a fluke. They said, yeah, it's a fluke that Robert Fuller yeah. and Young Gunn have the belts now that any other time they could beat them. Well, they made up on it. Here come their opponents here today. They're looking to win this match and get themselves a title shot. The Black Cat, team with the Spirit of America. Spirit waving the flag. He brought that 55-gallon uh, trash, trash can. can. yeah. He says he's going to clean up the wrestling business and clean up trash. There he is, the Spirit of America. Masters and Sawyer in the ring. They've had the belts. They're in a nasty mood. They're never in a very good mood. I've got to tell oh, you, they're in a nasty mood today, though, after losing those belts last week to Robert Fuller and Young Gunn. Spirit of America climbing into the ring. Referee Frank Morrell calls for the bell. I guess he's tired of waiting for uh, the, uh, Sawyer's, uh, uh, Sawyer and, uh, and Masters, Masters yeah. to determine who's going to stay in there. Looks like it's going to be the Barkman starting against Spirit of America. Here we go. One fall, 30 minutes in time. Spirit of America, Bart Sawyer tangling up in the tag team bout today. We've got a full day today. You definitely want to stay with us. Full day of USWA wrestling. The open door policies brought a lot of wrestlers to the area. Hey, this black cat is quite an athlete. Spirit yeah. of America, well, you can just look at him and tell. He spends a lot of time in the gymnasium. When he talks about cleaning up wrestling, and uh, he, he's doing more than just talking. <laughs> he can back it up. Good specimen in the Spirit of America. And uh, Bart Sawyer finds out that, hey, he's not a pancake. It's something in my way. Bart Sawyer trying again. And Spirit of America said, come on, you want to try it one more time? And Bart Sawyer finding out that Spirit of America and Black Cat could be a real good team, Dave, too. More than just a wrestling match here, the winners of the match get the shot at the World Tag Team title. That's right, and big backdrop on Bart Sawyer. Finds himself down. Of course, Masters and Sawyer, the former World Tag Team title holders, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to win those belts over again, win this bout, and get another shot at those World Tag Team belts. For Spirit of America and Black Cat, this is a quick way to the top, a quick way to get the shot oh, at yeah. the world titles. All they got to do is beat the former champions. Of course, that's a tall order. Whoa! <laughs> Doug Masters came in and thought he just shoved Spirit of America and thought he just would just set up there and Spirit said, hey, I've got something for you too and shoves Masters down. You know, Masters and Sawyer said they underestimated Robert Fuller and his partner, Young Gun. I wonder if they've underestimated these guys. Yeah, that's right. So far, Spirit and Black Cat have looked good in the match. Uh, Masters now takes uh, Spirit down to the mat. Got shoulders down for a two, a two count. count there. Yeah, he yeah. didn't have him in a pin position, though. Couldn't hold his shoulders down. Yeah, now there's Doug Masters holding. Yeah, he pulled my hair. Tell the referee Frank Morrell that he pulled my hair. Doug Masters and Bart Sawyer gets the Spirit of America and the Black Cat. Again, as Dave said earlier, the winners of this bout, Dave, get a chance at those World Tag Team titles. This should be an interesting bout. Those belts have uh, formerly, of course, with uh, Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett. Masters and Sawyer came in here and uh, wasted no time in laying claim to the belts. But they lost them to Robert Ooh. and his new partner, Young Gun, just a few days ago. And now they want the belts back. They are upset that they didn't get the automatic rematch. Right, They're having yeah. to earn it. Yeah, they've got to earn it here today by beating a good team, too. Spirit of America and Black Cat against Bart Sawyer, Doug Masters. Bart Sawyer in the ring now. Tangled up with the Spirit of America. He's working headlock on the Spirit of America. Yeah, Bart Sawyer saying he's going to just use the Spirit of America as an example, he's saying. That Spirit of America in that headlock again, still working on the Spirit of America. Bart Sawyer into the ropes. Comes over. Whoa! Lucky. Oh, look like he tried for a hip toss. That Spirit of America caught him with a clothesline there. Looked like he tried for a sunset flip there. Wasn't able to. I don't, know, I don't know what Sawyer had in mind, but whatever it was, it did not work. Spirit oh. of America was right there, kept his balance, kept his wits about him, and came up with the upper hand. Now he makes the tag, and well, here the comes cat. the Black Cat. Yeah. yeah, the Black Cat. We saw him for the first time last week here on USWA Wrestling. 
<laughs> yeah, about three. He said, hey, hold still. Hold black still. cat is real quick. He's right the black cat is not going to just stand up to him. He's a quick wrestler, too. He has a real good move off that middle rope, you see, and then he goes up to that top rope, and, oh, comes down. Bart Sawyer misses with an elbow there. Black Cat has a move that I have just not seen in wrestling day. What a great move. He gets up on that top rope and flips over just completely backwards. And his opponent then is just about flat out. He's quite an athlete, no doubt about it. The Black Cat back into a corner. Dangerous place to be. Masters yeah, and Sawyer Masters got, got him in their corner. Yeah. yeah. And a tag on Doug Masters that now he's in the ring and Black Cat needs to try to find his way out of that corner. Ooh, oh, big shot by Doug Masters. Whoa, another shot. Black Cat. Whoa, returns the favor. And again and again. Takes Doug Masters now into his corner. Oh, Black Cat went into the turnbuckle, but nobody home. Doug Masters. Get out of the way of the Black Cat, and now slows him down. Look at Masters, seized the opportunity. Black Cat made the mistake. He went into the turnbuckles, and Masters right there, ready to capitalize. Working over on the Black Cat now. Another chop, one of those hard chops by Doug Masters. Mark Sawyer with the boot, a little help from his partner, now the tag on Sawyer. In the ring, and whoa, another chop on the Black Cat. Man, they are leveling him off with those chops. Bart Sawyer. The Bart Man takes Black Cat into the rope. Comes off. Whoa. Big clothesline. Just turned the Black Cat over. Bart Sawyer is going to try to go for the pin now. He's one, two. Black Cat. Made six. I thought he had it. Only yeah. the two count, though. I thought he did, but Black Cat came up with some strength from somewhere. He got out of that pin cover. Here's Doug Masters in the ring now. Working over on the Black Cat. Got him hanging over on that top rope now. He's choking him with Yeah, it. he's choking him on that rope. Referee Frank Morrell counting, and Doug Masters just flips him back off of that rope. After choking the Black Cat on that rope. Working out on the Black Cat. Doug Masters. Black Cat into the rope. Big elbow. Black Cat, cover one, two, Black Cat. Black Cat's got an amazing it. reserve strength. There again, I thought they had him pinned right yeah. there. And Masters and Sawyer now the victory. Look at this. Whoa, Mark Sawyer comes down with a big right hand in that midsection. Over the Black Cat, working on that arm now. Twisting that arm of the Black Cat. As Cat up against the turnbuckle throws his head up against the turnbuckle now he's into the turnbuckle there whoa oh, 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 trying for the same move he found no one home black cat trying to get the tag over here he's reaching it he got the tag on his partner spirit of america spirit of america comes in leveling off bart sawyer dub masters black cat everybody in the ring now this bout, one fall, 30 minutes in time. The winner of this bout gets a shot at those World Tag Team titles. Now held by the Tennessee Stud, Robert Fuller and Young Gun, Mike Mitchell. Whoa, big clothesline by Spirit of America. Takes Bart Man down. That's Doug Masters. Masters down. Yeah, that Spirit was that big yeah, trash got can. That, uh, got the trash can, bringing it in the ring there. And yeah, he's got it right it up, in the middle. In the middle of the ring. Masters got him with a with a uh, foot though, and oh, picks yeah, Doug up Masters the can. Picks up that big referee Frank Morrell trying to hang on to that and get it out of the ring. Yeah, Frank Morrell and he's struggling. Doug Masters over there. Whoa, close line. That oh. stack of referee Frank Morrell. Frank, yeah, he's Frank Morrell got yeah. knocked back into the ropes too. Look at uh, the black cat yeah, has got uh, cat. Sawyer. Yeah, big Sawyer out, throws him right by that trash can. He's going for that move, Dave. The black cat. Up on that top rope, oh man! Oh look out! Oh man! Oh man! Whoa! Sawyer moves oh, that can out of the way so that Black oh, Cat. One, two, three. Oh my goodness! Hit oh, that man. trash can! Oh, Sawyer's what? hand is raised. Masters and Sawyer have got a victory, but you saw how he did it by rolling that trash can over there. Black Cat in the air. He was committed. When he looked up, all he could see was that trash can in his landing pattern. He oh. hit it. 
and immediately Sawyer got him for the three count. Masters and Sawyer, their hands raised. They are going to get the shot at the World Tag Team titles as a result. Spirit yeah. helping the Black Cat. Another team in here to try for a, uh, a shot at that world title. We'll see them live a little bit later. Right now, let's take a look at the Moon Dog. Excitement in the air today. Boy, we just had this match now. Masters and Sawyer, that's set. They are going to be one of the participants in the world uh, tag team title match coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. The, uh, the other participants will be determined later on today. we got a match coming up with the Moon Dogs. The International Roughnecks will be in here going against the Tennessee stud Robert Fuller and Young Gunn, who are the current holders yep. of those world tag team titles. We'll uh, see how that one goes a bit later. Right now, let's check the card as we have it. Opening match of the night, we don't know the whole thing. We do know that Black Cat and Spirit of America are going to be going against either uh, uh, actually they're going to be going against uh, the loser of the Fuller Young Gun or Moondogs match. Then in the next match we know it is going to be Masters and Sawyer who will be going against whoever is the uh, world tag team champions either the Moondogs or yeah. Fuller and Young Gun. So that's the first two matches again that second one uh, uh, still to be determined. Two good opening bouts. Yes, too. indeed. Yep. Uh, was, uh, mighty, mighty good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> mighty, oh, yeah. good mighty good opener. And, and of course, uh, the, uh, the uh, World Tag Championship match is going to be the main event of the night. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the card Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. The Candyman will be there. He'll be going against the Grave Digger. Grave Digger and Nathaniel Whitlock. Nate the Rat had some comments. Yeah, Vincent. <laughs> the candy man <laughs> candy man your time is coming brother and it won't be long i saw you with that silly looking hat that you wear and that silly little cane and that stupid jacket with them clowns on it jumping around giving candy to them simple-minded peons out there in the audience and you're giving candy to all them kids but little did you know candy man that vincent here and all vincent's friends love candy too and we're gonna eat your candy up vincent is gonna eat your candy and when it's all when the grave digger lays you down it's all said and done big man i'm gonna put these rats all over you and we'll have the last laugh <laughs> Is it right, Vinci? Uh, no, meet the rats. I'm yeah, with those rats and all that stuff. We're the graves. Yeah. Going. One against the Candyman Monday night at the Coliseum. Next match, we got the Sandman. The Sandman, the guy from California in here, comes wild in guy. with a surfboard. Yeah, he is yeah. wild. He can, he's big. He can uh, he can wrestle, though. He is going to be going into a match. All right. Oh, oh, well, the Candyman had a few words, I understand, about that match with the Grave Digger. Let's listen okay. to what the Candyman had to say. Yes, baby, the candy man. I'm here, baby. I got one thing I want to say right off the top, boys and girls. Don't y'all worry about it. I'm going to get rid of all these bad, bad villains. I mean, all these bad villains. I dominated that, what his name, the leather face with the chainsaw last week. And I gave candy to all the kids out there I won. But now this week, I got that Nate the Rat. That Nate the Rat in the grave digger. They walk around scanning all the kids with all these rats and things running all over them. But I'm going to tell y'all something once and for all, grave digger. 
You and that ugly, ugly manager of yours with all them rats running around them, y'all won't scare the kids no more. Because I'm a new man now. If it weren't for that little boy, whoo, I don't know what I'll do now. I'm just a happy man now. I'm the candy man, baby. Yes, we will. We will, kids. I said we will, kids. We will defeat them, kids. We will defeat the grave digger and send them on about their business. And all of them, all of my opponents, all the bad guys are going to be the same way. Yes, the candy man, I feel good. Yes. <laughs> candy man says he's changed. David yeah. says. He's ready for him. Says he's seen a new light now, and he's ready to go. From the grave digger. He's yeah. going to get rid of the grave digger and the rats, too. <laughs> the rats the Sandman all, yeah. going against Brian Christopher in the next match. Young Brian, of course, trying to take the measure of the Sandman, yeah. as we said. Sandman in from California brings a surfboard with him when he comes into the area. He had this to say about Brian in the match. Let me tell you, Hicks, from Tennessee, a little story. You know, I'm sitting in my backyard. I got the biggest backyard in America. The Pacific Ocean. I'm cooking some burgers. I'm cooking some chicken. And you know what? I get a little itch. So I look out over the waves, and I see this big tidal wave coming. And I grab the little mermaid. I grab my board. And I said, let me see where this tidal wave's going to go. You know what? I rode that tidal wave for 2,000 miles. And I look down, and I see a couple of little crowns down there over Tennessee. I know who's one of those crowns are, and that's a dead man. And I figure I bet, might as well find myself out who that other crown belongs to. I figure there's a little bit of talent down there. So let me hang 10 into Tennessee, baby. And they got some guys, Brian, Brian, I don't know what his name around here. They got some girls, well, I can't even call them girls around here. I don't know what you would call these people around here. I never seen so many jean wearing cowboy boot wearing women well let's not let's let's not call them women let me just tell you something i'm here to kick some butt and i don't care who it is if it's a hick if it's a hillbilly i'm going to take care of business in tennessee they're going to have to go through Brian Christopher in order yeah. to take care of that business. The sand man, he can wrestle, but what an attitude the yeah, guy has. Yeah, he has, has a horrible attitude, yeah. The Warrior is going to be going against Tony Falk in yet another single match Monday night at the Coliseum. Eric's driver, Tony, going against the Warrior. We got our first warrior look at him. Good. Really yes, good. he did. It yeah. didn't take him long to win Impressive. that match either. Let's see what he had to say about this match. People out there, just to let you know, you don't have to be ultimate just to be a warrior. And Tony Falk, you better lock your doors, lock your windows, because I'm the new force in the USWA, and I'm coming. He looks like he can be a formidable force in the oh, USWA, yeah. too. Let me tell you, the warrior, remember him. He's going against Tony Falk Monday night in a single match. Following that, Jeff Jarrett going against the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord. We'll hear more about this a little bit later on. Then. In this match, what an interesting match here. Eric Embry against Tom Pritchard. Tom Pritchard. The war continues between these two. But in this one, Eric Embry's Southern Heavyweight title is going to be on the line. But listen to this. Yeah. If Tom Pritchard loses, he has to leave town. Pritchard yeah. leaves town or Embry loses the Southern title to him in that single match Monday night. And losing that Southern title could cause Eric Embry the world title because it's just one step from it. So interesting bout, Eric Embry, Tom Bridges. Is indeed. Look out for that one Monday night at the Coliseum. But that's not all. The world unified title is going to be on the line, too. New champion. I got to tell you, yeah. I mean, uh, Kamala's tough. We've seen him before. We knew he was tough coming in here. I still consider it a major upset that he came in and was able to take the belt from Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. Kamala is the champion. Lawler will be trying to get the belt back in that match Monday night. But remember now, that is not the final match. The final match, uh, the whole thing is still to be determined. We know it's going to be Masters and Sawyer who have earned a shot at uh, the World Tag Team titles. And uh, they, he will be going, uh, they will be going against either Robert Fuller and Young Gunn or the Moon Dogs with the World Tag titles on the line Monday night. And Lala had some words about this world title about with Kamala, too. Let's see what the king had to say. All right. You know, fortunately, there hadn't been a lot of times in my career that I've had to stand out here and apologize to my wrestling fans. But this happens to be one of them. Because last week, I stood right here on this television station, and I told everybody how important this big match was with Kamala, the Unified World Heavyweight Championship at stake. I told everybody how beating Kamala would just further uh, further the the significance and further the meaning 
of the USWA World Heavyweight Championship. And then what did I do? I went out there last Monday night and lost the match and lost the belt. Well, I got to, I understand now, one shot at a rematch because the people that do the negotiating for Kamala, the Ugandan giant, have said that uh, it was in the original contract that I will get one rematch and they've made it clear that one is all there'll be. So um, I realize that this is the gut check time. This is a time where you really got to suck it up because it's for all the marbles. And I'm not going to stand out here and make any threats or uh, any, any, any kind of derogatory remarks to Kamala, the Uganda giant, because he can't understand him anyway. He's not listening anyway. When he goes in the ring, he goes in there for one thing, and that's to beat up somebody. He doesn't know any wrestling move. He doesn't have any wrestling skill or technique. He's just a big, strong, mean, non-caring individual. And the only thing he knows is that I'm sure when he wins a match, he gets some sort of reward, sort of like your little pet dog or something. If he does a trick for you, you give him a dog biscuit. Well, I think that's the same thing that happens with Kamala. When he wins a match or when he wins a belt, he gets some kind of big reward. Well, like I said, I haven't had to apologize too many times to the wrestling fans, but I am going to apologize today because there were a lot of people down there supporting me, a lot of people backing me, and I feel like I let them down. Well, this week, I got one more shot. I got to go in there, and I got to do whatever it takes to get that Unified World Heavyweight Championship belt back. And I want all my fans, I'm not saying this to Kamala or that jerk that runs around the ring with him, I'm saying this to all my wrestling fans right here in Memphis, Tennessee, that Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum, if it takes bringing back the king of old or whatever it takes, I'm going to do it because I want that World Heavyweight Championship belt and I want it bad and I'm going to show Kamala just how bad I want it this Monday night. And the best thing the King can do for the fans is to win that unified belt and oh, yeah. keep it right here in this area. Don't forget, we're going to determine the rest of the card in just a few minutes. Back with more in a moment. Steele is just walking into the picture, surfboard in hand from California. It's the Sandman. Yeah, the Sandman here. After he's insulted everyone here. Yeah, he's, he's still insulting yeah, still, yeah, still talking about all of the fans in there. And then, like you said, yeah, it comes out and insults T.D. Steele. What do you call this competition? He said, there he is. The Sandman claims his whole backyard is the Pacific Ocean. He's yeah. been riding tidal waves for 2,000 miles and all of that. I wish he would quit talking and uh, put the uh, say, it's just, well, it's the crowd ready to take him on down here. Yeah. And after what Don't he said, Frank Morrell says, get him in here. Yeah, let's get the bout going. After what he said to TD when he came out and after what he has said about the fans in this area, I don't blame him. Insulting everybody. Yeah. On, Frank, you want to ring the bell? Yeah, Count Frank Morrell yeah. says, go on and ring the bell and I'll keep counting. Yeah, he's got a 10 yeah. count to get in there now. He'll just yeah. count him out. Yeah, he's referee Frank Morrell counting on the Sandman, and Sandman is still trying to take his time to get it into the ring. Sandman still preaching to the crowd. Nobody's listening, but it doesn't matter to him. Yeah, referee Frank Morrell tells him, to, come on, let's get the bout started. Oh, boy, he has a... He has a mouth on him, doesn't he? Oh, he does. T.D. Steele waiting for him in the ring right there. Says, come on, referee, let's get him in here. The Sandman still hanging on. Well, now he's back down off the eight. Well, I thought yeah, we had him gonna ready to go. He's going to bring over here, yeah. Come on, Frank, count him out. Yeah. Say, we're sick of this. Let's get some, we're here for wrestling, not... Not this guy out here running his mouth at the side of the ring, which nobody cares about here in any way. Yeah, he uh, takes off his shades and the, and the lights are blinding him there. Well, this guy, is what a piece of work he is, huh? Yeah. Bell has sounded. We're underway. D.D. Steele chomping at the bit, waiting to go, and now the Sandman is finally in the ring. Here's Corey Macklin. Hey, thank you, Dave. If we can get this bout going on. Could be an interesting single bout. One fall, 15 minutes in time. T.D. Steele has came on and 
Reason we see these, telling them, hey, come on, referee Frank Morell, let's get the bout started. Sandman still outside the ring, just insulting all of the fans here. This guy's getting me mad. I mean, you know, we're <laughs> trying to try yeah, to, trying to get the bout here. started. And he's over here wandering around, drawing with a crowd. Yeah, I wish he'd come on and wrestle. Get him out of here, too. Let him go on and wrestle and just get on back to the dressing room. Sandman, big CD still up by the tight. Whoa, big suplex. What a suplex. That's why he's dangerous. CD. Not yeah. only can he tar, he can wrestle. Yeah, just drops that leg on T.D. still. He's got it right on his throat. Every Frank Morrell had him. Counting on that, takes T.D. into the ropes, comes off. Big clothesline on T.D. still. The Sandman. Big T.D. up. Big body slam on T.D. still. T.D. still not a small man either. Sandman just picked him up, Dave, and just threw him straight down. This guy is big and powerful. Look out. Yeah, he's, he's on top of the top rope now. Looks yes, like he's surfing, yeah, I guess. Looks yeah. like he's got that surf. Whoa, here. Whoa, man, what a boot. Right to the face of T.D. Man, what a two. Oh, three, it's over. Sandman gets the victory, Dave. Boy, he came off of there on that surfing move with that boot. Caught oh. T.D. Right, right in the, in the chin. Yeah. And it was all over at that point. This guy, like it or not, and I don't, but it looks like he's a force to be reckoned with oh, yeah. in the USWA. He's got to be dealt with. He came out last week to pick up that big ladder, if you remember, Dave, and yeah. just dropped it on top of Black Cat. Sandman gets the victory, and yeah, he's got to put his shades back on now. And yeah, so oh uh, yeah. yeah, a little celebration here. Yeah, picked up his surfboard. Yeah, why don't you just go on out here? You won the bout. Another short wave home, he says. Uh, yeah. Looking for the perfect wave. There goes the Sandman. Sandman. I tell you what, I want to do. Want to see if we can get Dr. Tom Pritchard. Here he comes, coat and tie. And I want to talk to him because this may be our last chance to talk to Dr. Tom Pritchard because he's involved in a match that he will have to leave the area if he loses it coming up this week. You know, Dave, there's been a lot of things, a lot of changes that have taken place in my life, I guess, these past couple months. But if you think back about the last 10 months, about 10 months ago when I first came to the USWA, I, I came here by myself, but I came here with the aid and help of Eric Emery. He got on the phone and talked to me from Texas, and he said, I think that you and I could be an unbeatable force in the USWA. There's a couple guys down there like Jeff Jarrett, Jerry Lawler, Bill Dundee. You got the, the Tennessee stud and all these guys that want to want to rule the USWA. And you and I could be an unbeatable force. We could be an unbeatable team. In fact, I'll take you to the Texas championship, which he did. He told me he would take me to the, the Southern Heavyweight Championship, which he did. But you know, there's a lot of other things that Eric Embry used to do, too. You see, he's, he's one of those guys you might want to call a a master manipulator. He has people that kind of buffers him out from the rest of the crowd. He has people surrounding him all the time. If he goes into a nightclub, he has people around him all the time because he doesn't know if anybody's going to come behind his back. He doesn't know if somebody wants to pick a fight with him. He'll send me or he'll send Tony Fox. He'll send somebody else because that's the kind of guy Eric Embry is. He can't fight on his own. He can't do nothing on his own. He needs somebody in his life to back him up. Now you see it, it all came down, this was coming down for a while when I found out about him and Tojo having secret meetings behind my back. They do contract arrangements behind my back. And speaking of contract arrangements, you see, the only way I could get you in a Southern Heavyweight Championship match is you said the only way is because if I signed a contract and if I didn't beat you, that I That's mean. right, that you leave, man. You actually think these people in the Mid-South care about you, Pritchard? You've been riding on my coattail for months, man. For months I've taken care of you. For months. 
And you know what that southern title means to me, don't you, Tommy? I know exactly. You know exactly what it means. I know exactly what it means. You talk a bad ball game through a TV set, man. I don't see any TV set between us now, pal. All I see is you, and all I see is that goof right there, man. I don't see nothing else stopping you. I don't see a camera. I don't see a TV set. All I see is you standing there with the southern heavyweight champion. It's real simple, Pritchard. You can run your mouth all you want to, man. I'll run my mouth any time I want to. You know you can't beat me. You think he cares about you? I don't. You think he cares about you? There ain't nobody that cares about you, Pritchard. And I'm gonna beat you half to death, man. And then you're out of here. You understand? Oh, look out! Look out there! Now, Pritchard from behind. Yeah, then. Hey, look at that. Eddie, oh, Eddie Marlin yeah. picked that chair up. Oh. Eddie was trying to get yeah. them separated. He's got the chair. Yeah. And now Eric Embry and Charlie's driver back off. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Action coming up around the USWA, Corey. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of it uh, coming up Friday, December 6th. Championship Wrestling in Blyville, Arkansas, 8 o'clock p.m. at the National Guard Army on Division Street. Pick up your tickets in advance. Save a dollar. Jerry Lawler, Spirit of America, a lot of people there. Coming up Friday, December 13th, Helena, Arkansas. The King will be there. Jeff Jarrett, Eric Embry. This Friday, December 13th. Saturday, December 14th, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Back at the Earl Bell Community Center. 8 o'clock, USW Wrestling. December special. Children understand. Look at that. Free with uh, uh, paid uh, admission by an adult. The uh, box office opens early in Jonesboro, eh? Yes, indeed. Always a great trip over in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Saturday, yeah. December 14th. That should be another good one. Hey, don't forget, right here, right after this break, we're going to have that next match, the Moon Dogs, Moon Dogs going against yeah. Robert Fuller and Young Gunn. The winner of that will be going against Masters and Sawyer for the World Tag Titles later on in the week. Back in a moment. <laughs> Title match coming up right here, and the winner of this one has uh, to go against Masters and Sawyer. Here's Robert Fuller, and Robert, your hey. partner, Young Gun, going today. Yeah, my partner, Young Gun's not here. You know, I talked to him just a little bit earlier. He was all excited about coming and defending the titles on TV today, but, you know, he's not here. I didn't come all this way, lose these belts by forfeit. I'm going to be going in there defending these things. All I got to do, Dave, is hang on to him. Don't get counted out one, two, three. Well, you're right, Robert. I hate to see. Uh, I always hate hate to see that sort of thing. You know, yeah, I have yeah. seen I have seen belts defended successfully this way, though. So uh, so Robert can do it, and if anybody can do it, the Tennessee Stud can. But look at yeah. coming in here. Yeah, look a, at these opponents. Here's the manager, Richard Lee, along with the Moon Dog. Yeah. I'm not sure it's nice to see you guys. I, I, I know you. Well, let me tell you something, Dave. I know that, that you haven't asked for anything else, but a lot of people have asked me what the Moondogs have been up to. I've had them down in South America for the last year. They've dominated South America. They were the South American champions, heavyweight champions from the top of uh, San Juan, Mexico, all the way down to Argentina. We know that the Southern Heavyweight title is a stepping stone to the world's heavyweight title. And what you're looking at right now, Dave Brown, is the next world heavyweight tag team champions in the moon, dogs. And you think well, Richard Lee, their manager, yeah. talking about the Moon Dogs, South American champions. I do happen to know a little bit about the Moon Dogs. They have been all yeah. around South America, and they have defeated everything. They called the USWA and said, "How about that open door policy? Are your champions afraid of us?" And the USWA said, "Nope, come on up here." Here they are against Robert Fuller. USWA, though, the open door policy is the greatest thing that's ever happened to professional uh, yeah. wrestling. I want you to know that, Dave Brown. And this is the very reason right here, because it brings in the top talent in this area. And you're fixing to see the Moondogs win these titles today, and we plan on dominating the Memphis area. They've already got Tennessee Stutter. Robert Fuller busted open there. He's got, he's got something, something in his sight there. He just came out of it. Just take those guys to the ring. They come over here banging all on the table with those big bones. 
Richard Lee has those bones rocking around ringside there, and the Moon Dogs have already busted open the Tennessee Stand Robert Fullerdave, and he's just got started. You know what? That looks like a can opener. Like I don't know if it's a dog food yeah. can opener or what. That's what it looks like. That he he handed out to uh, to a Spike Moon Dog Spike out on the apron. That's Moon Dog Spot in there. Yeah, Spot and Spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of hard to tell, but he's got it in his hand. I think that's yeah. what it is. Can't yeah, open. looks like that's what he's got. It. Richard Lee is out here with that whistle. You hear him blowing that thing. These guys, I tell you. Oh, that horrible. They come out here and already bust open Robert Fuller. And they need to go ahead and stop this mess before Robert Fuller gets permanently injured. He's going to end up with severe brain damage. He's going to end uh, up with severe blood loss. Yeah. You need to have the referee go ahead and stop this match right now. Well, I'm not sure, but what uh, Richard Lee may have a point. Uh, Robert Fuller, oh, he's, uh, they, they went after him again with something, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, he's got yeah. Rob, Robert has busted all the way open. And his partner, young gun Mike Mitchell, Robert said he talked with him just a few moments ago. And, Mike was all excited about the belts. I don't know if he had some type of trouble making it to the bout here today or what, but Robert Fuller says he's going to defend those titles. He's not going to give them up on a forfeit, and that's what he'd have to do. A normal human being, as a normal human being, will quit. When the moon dogs see blood, the moon dogs turn into wild animals, and you're fixing to see more bloodshed in this area than you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Well, we would appreciate it, Mr. Lee, if you would kind of call them off there. I mean, for heaven's sakes, it's one thing to come out here and try to win the world tag titles. It's another thing to come out here and try to hurt somebody. To beat someone, yeah. And in a handicapped situation, it's two against one, and if oh, you count man. Lee and those bones, they've got, got Robert it's three Fuller. against one. They've got Robert Fuller busted all the way open from the side of this bat, and what a horrible sight, too. I don't know. It looks like they got him just right above that eye, too, Dave. I don't know. I yeah, hope really, they hadn't gotten him in that eye. He, he is really... They have worked really him over a couple open. of times yeah. with that can opener. Yeah, Robert Fuller says, uh, Dave, all I have to do is come out and if they don't pin me the one, two, three, you it's think you Jeff can win? Jeff, out. Jeff, out. Uh, Jeff out to, uh, and, uh, now Jeff to can't take a look at uh, Robert. No, 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 Jeff Jarrett is not supposed to be out here. Jeff Jarrett has no business being he, out, he here. Be out here. You need to take Jeff and send him back. He, Jeff, Jeff yeah. can stay out here. Jeff right. cannot get in the ring. If Jeff he, gets he in the ring, he'll be a disqualification. Oh, yeah. Richard Lee said Jeff Jarrett shouldn't be out here. He'll get busted open. Jeff Jarrett can be out here. He can't get in the ring if he does. It's a disqualification, and Robert will have to lose the belt. But Jeff can stay out here at ringside if he wants to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeff trying to tell referee Frank Morrell they've got something there busting Robert Fuller open. And boy, do they have him work over real good. Robert Fuller just can barely stand up. He rolls out on the floor. Jeff is there the floor. again to uh, try to encourage him and try to say, hey, here's what they're doing to you. What Jeff can do is say, look, Robert, here's what's happening. And maybe Robert can come up with a defense to counter it. The Moon Dog. Yeah. Spot and Spike running wild. South American champions have come into the USWA to take the world title. They're back here. They've been here and was here for some time. And they are back in the area. Boy, do they come back in a bang. These guys have had some tough bouts in their time here in the area, Dave. And today they are just manhandling Robert Fuller. They've got him busted open, going for the pin cover. One, two, oh, three. No. Nope. Was that, was, was that a three count? Yeah, it was a three count. Yeah, referee. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's a three count. Yeah. Referee Frank the Moon Dog. Oh, man. The next world heavyweight champion. And the no. Moon Dogs don't even act like they won. Referee Frank Morrell tried to hold the hand up. They just completely went out there beating Robert Fuller again. Got Darren in the ring now. No. Trying to help out Robert Fuller. Jeff, yeah, trying to get the Moon Dogs away from him, and he's done it. Yeah. Jeff with a whole. Oh, one drop kick and this the moon dogs boy these guys back in the uswa and referee frank morrell tried to hold their hands up and tell them they won and they completely went out to robert again and jeff jarrett jumped in the ring to try to help his partner the moon dogs are the new uswa world tag team champions they have in fact won the belt from robert fuller and his partner who is absent the young gun moon dogs are the champions and now they work over Robert Fuller and Dale, they've got, yeah. uh, he's got that can opener working on Jeff. Yeah, he's got the can.
Get them, Rose. Get them, Ah, let's go. Get them out of here, Richard. Why don't you get them out here? You've won the belts. What more do you want? Get them out of here. That's right. Get them out of here. Why don't we try to get some help out of here if we can? Well, Richard Lee is over here hollering on about the Moon Dogs, and the bout is over with. They won the belt. Every frame of trying to tell them, just get them out of here. They want him to get them out of here. Well, they're, they're not easy to control. If anybody can do it, Richard Lee and that whistle can, but he has not called them off. He has picked the Moon Dogs on Jeff Jarrett oh, and Robert ahead. Fuller. All right, Jeff, Jeff got Jarrett a chair picked up right that chair. Now. He's going back in the ring now. Moon Dog, whoa! Jeff, he clears the ring himself. Jeff, staggered out by the ring to get a hold to a chair there. Robert Fuller. Yeah. I told you, Dave Brown, and I told everybody in this area, your next heavyweight tag team champion, there's the old one in a pool of blood. Just take him out of here, Richard. Why don't you get him out of here? The bout is over with. Hey, the, the Moon Dogs. Hey, 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 hey. Get him back over there. The now. Moon Dogs are the champions. We'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Hey. Just looking here, they're still working on Robert, especially Robert's got a horrible cut over yeah, his, he's uh, open. his eye. Jeff is cut open too as they come out of the ring here. Just want to make sure that, uh, I'm sure Robert's going to be able to walk. They head out of here. Eddie is uh, is there trying to, trying to help. Well, Fuller and Jarrett. Okay. Man. They had that can open. Robert, Robert, you need to get that taken care of. Exactly what needs to happen. Moondogs, you ain't no champion. Yeah, you just came back into USWA, and maybe you don't know what's going on. But me and Robert Fuller were the greatest tag team to ever be in the USWA. We were ranked number one in the world, and we came in, and we said we were going to beat the Texas Hangman, and we did. And then we made one fatal mistake, and we both made our green, and we made a pact that if we ever lost the title, if we ever got beat, we were going to split up for good. And yeah, maybe that was a mistake, but we did what we said, and we did split up. But today is a new day. That's right, a brand new day. And I'm asking Robert Fuller, and we just talked it right this there in the ring. Yeah, we're going after those belts, and I promise you, Moondog, Eddie Marlin, we want a rematch with them guys. And I know one thing, I hadn't forgot about the world title, and Jerry Lawler, I hadn't forgot about your belt. But I know one thing, first things first, you guys come out here and want to bring something out of your, your, out of your pocket, some kind of church here or something. Well, boys, you better get ready, because I know one thing. I fight fire with fire, chain for chain. It doesn't matter. Now, Eddie, we want a rematch. I got my part in the back now, Eddie. I came out here, and you'll have to agree. I've never told you a lie one time. I said we'd be here today to defend these titles. My partner wasn't here. I came by myself to get it done. Right. You saw what happened to me inside the ring there. I got my partner, the best partner I ever had. I got him in my corner. Back up here, Nelly, and I want these boys. And Eddie, you can do it for me. I know you can. Great opportunity to get them back together here, Eddie. That's right, yes, Dave. Sir, great Robert, yeah. the best one. I don't approve of what went on up there in the ring, Robert. It's no doubt that they stole the belt yeah, from you. Exactly right. So and we get the rematch. You sign the rematch right there. Come on, Eddie. You got to do this. This is important to me. You got to do this. This is a chance to get Jared Fuller back sign again. Match. Sign the match. Sign it. You got it. Sign it. They, they, he deserves another That's shot. Exactly right. They just stole him away from him. I, mean, I think you're exactly right. He does indeed. They do it. Another bloodbath, but it's going to be a lose all station. Masters and Sawyer. We won the right to defend or to take our titles back. They didn't do nothing. All they did was get the living daylight beat out of them. Hey, 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 you stole the belt from us in the first place. Wait a minute. Yeah, just get out of here. We stand. We deserve a rematch for the title. I know y'all's match was booked. The winner would get a shot at him. All right. I will give you a match with the champion. But these guys, you'll have to admit, they just got robbed from the belt. Robert they ain't got so nothing to, to admit. I ain't got to admit nothing. I mean, and I'll tell you one thing, Eddie Marlin. Either you give us a match, or we're going to own you, your house, the whole USWA. Hey, let me tell you something. You don't come out here and threaten me on this program. 
I said they were getting the match. They're That's getting the exactly match. Right. And I you will get a match you later. Get a now you we can do it whatever you want to. You will get a title match, but it will be later. These guys will get the match first. Now, that's wait, all wait, it is. Wait, 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 wait a minute there, Mr. Dud. How about the ring's open right now? If you boys are so tough, if you got so much Tennessee fire in you, let's get in the ring. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. Get back there. Come on. Let's cut open and everything. Robert's cut open like that, Dave. I don't know if he needs to get in there. Well, I, masses are so you challenging, my idol. Eddie? Is, well, we got a referee in there. Ring the bell, he yeah. says. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's, yeah. Well, let's go with it. Whoop, whoop. So, I guess the winner of this bout will face the Moon Dogs, who are now the USWA World Tag Team Champions. Masters and Sawyer come out and say, hey, you can't do that. Well, you know, I guess Masters and Sawyer have a have a point, yeah, technically, I'm but, I mean, thing. you saw what happened, but, for heaven's yeah, right, sake. Right, They did not win. The Moon Dogs won the belts, but it didn't win them fairly. No, That's not, the point, not at all. But Ma Ma Masters and Sawyer do have a point, but what just happened with Robert Fuller? Robert Fuller, I tell you, I don't see how in the world he's still going. Jeff Jarrett is cut open, too, by the Moon Dogs. Him out here with that can opener, it looks like, Dave, and... Boy, they just came in here. And Richard Lee, he did not get the guys out here. They warned about, and boy, for heaven's sake, he couldn't take the world belts and just go on. That's right. Here, here's, uh, here's Eddie back again. You know, I told Robert now, I'm not to get in the ring. He wasn't in no shape to get in the ring. But I want to make it clear, whoever wins this match, We'll get a shot at the Moon Dog. Okay. The winner of this match. And I tried to keep Robert from going in there, but he wanted to go, so he's there. All right, it's Robert Fuller, Jeff Jarrett against Masters and Sawyer. Winner of this match you're seeing right here gets the shot at the Moon Dog for the world title rematch. Yeah, the promoter Eddie Marlin just stole us that. So good news. Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett couldn't get a shot, but they've got to earn it. I guess these former World Tag Team title holders, Masters and Sawyer, whoa, DDT on Robert Fuller. Boy, I tell you, he didn't need that after being cut open. And DDT'd by Bart Sawyer, and Sawyer, the Bart man, working over on Robert Fuller now. You know, I can't believe that Masters and Sawyer would have issued the challenge if they hadn't seen both Jeff and Robert bleeding and figured they were going to be, they were going to catch him triple and, and beat him here today. Jeff Jarrett and Robert Fuller, Dave, how about it? I guess they're back together for this match at least. If they can win this bout, then they'll get a chance at those world titles against the Moon Dogs. Jeff and Robert, as you said before, one of the greatest tag teams that you've seen around here in the area, Dave. Yeah, one of the greatest whoa, of all whoa. time. Look at Jeff. What a DDT by Jeff Jarrett. And whoa, another DDT on Masters and Sawyer both. Takes him down, picks Masters up into the turnbuckle. You know, in order to be world champions, you have to face adversity. Maybe Jeff and Robert are proving right here that they can face that adversity, come out victorious, and if they can do it today, they get that shot at the Moon Dogs. Oh, look at it! Oh, here they the Moon Dogs! Yeah! Back yeah. yeah. up with you at the ring it, Dave, and here's Richard Lee. Yeah! Let me tell you something, Dave Brown. Jeff Jarrett hit the nail on the head a while ago. He said they were ranked number one for the world title. There's a big difference between being ranked one and being number one. Moon Dogs have already been the world champions once, Dave Brown. We're fixing to be world champions for the second time. And it's one thing to walk out of going after that belt, and it's another thing to walk out of leaving with that belt, and there ain't no way they'll do it. Richard Lee, he makes some good points. Yeah. He's got the belt. And yeah. it's going to be... Yeah, but now it's four against two now against Fuller and Jared. We need to try to get someone out here, don't we? Yeah, I tell you what, I get though. the can open if you can see it there. There's uh, Richard Lee. Richard Lee's got yeah, that Yeah, it in the pocket and walks off the other screen, yeah. But here's the good thing. Even with all this going on, Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett are the winners of this match by right. disqualification. That's right. They're going to have the shot at the Moondogs. That's right. The Moondogs don't know what they just got themselves into. They interfered in this bout and caused Jarrett and Fuller to win by disqualification, so Jared and Fuller will get a chance at the belt. You get the horse when you mess with a bulldog. You get fit when you mess with a moon dog. Oh, here goes, here goes the king. You're messing with the king. Oh, uh, it's time to win. Oh, oh. I wish he'd got a hold of Richard Lee Lawler to pick that shot out. Oh, man. He almost took Bart Sawyer's head off with that one. 
Whoa, whoa, the team, Jerry Lawler. Lawler out to help Fuller and Jarrett. Fuller yes. and Jarrett get the win. We'll be back here in a moment. I just want to let you know in a couple of minutes we're going to be giving the address that you can write for tickets to join us here for Studio Wrestling. So get the pencil and piece of paper handy and just hang on to it for a few minutes. Right now, we want to review the action that's coming up Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Boy, I tell you what, this one is now set to be a wild night oh. at the Mid-South Coliseum as a result We've of what just happened hit. here. Yeah, those Moondogs and Richard Lee, that's the thing that makes me mad, Dave. Richard Lee comes out here, they win the world titles. If you win the world belts, what else do you need? He gets the moon dogs in there and just makes them jump on Robert Fuller even more and bust Jeff Jarrett open as well. Well, they may have to pay for wild. it come Monday night yeah, at the Mid-South Coliseum. Opening match of the night, going to be a grudge match now uh, as, uh, as Doug Masters and Bart Sawyer are going to have to face Black Cat and Spirit of America through the turn of events today. Here's the way it, uh, it uh, ended up. These two were going against each other earlier today, and if you will remember how Masters and Sawyer rolled that 55-gallon drum over and Black Cat ended yeah. up splashing on that drum, that is the reason that Black Cat and Spirit of America are considering this one a revenge match, a grudge match. Following that, it's going to be the Grave Digger. Nate the Rat will be in his corner, and uh, Nate will have that, uh, that rat uh, crawling around on him in there. Candyman will be going against the Grave Digger, and he says, don't worry, kid, he's going to take care of the Grave Digger and all the rats. Sandman will be taken on Brian Christopher. Sandman has not shown much respect for the level of competition in this area so far. He may change his mind after he runs up against Brian Christopher Monday night. The Warrior will be going against Eric's driver, Tony. The Warrior we have seen already Warrior today. Good, yeah. It didn't take him much time. He won his match handily. He didn't, uh, there was not, not much wasted motion there as he came out and took care of business. The Warrior against Falk. Then, it's going to be the southern title of Eric Embry against Tom Pritchard leaving town. If Pritchard loses, he has to leave town. If Embry loses, then Pritchard will be the southern heavyweight champion, and Embry will drop down a couple of notches in his quest for the world unified title. These two don't like each other. They've been going at each other. And Monday night, it's going to be the title against Pritchard leaving town. Could be our last look at Tom Pritchard if Embry yeah. defeats him Monday night. Good then, about that, yeah. World unified title on the line. I said it earlier, I still believe it. It was an upset as Kamala came in here and defeated the King. The King says he wanted to even apologize to the fans. He said, I don't do that too much, but I think I should after last week. But let me tell you this, I've got one shot at a rematch. I'm going to make the best of it and get the title back. World unified belt on the line, Kamala against Jerry the King Lawler. And then that world tag team title match. Ooh. Boy, stand by for this one. Yeah. We just got a little preview right here with everybody in there. You saw how they were going at each other. But look at this. Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett, I'm so pleased to say, back together, back together again. Yeah. The former world champions, in my opinion, the greatest world champions in the history of the USWA belts. The Fuller and Jarrett team will be going against the Moondogs, Spot and Spike. Manager Richard Lee will have the Moondogs in there. This is going to be some kind of match. Richard Lee made the point. He said it's one thing to come in looking for the world titles. It's another thing to walk out of the arena with the belts in your hand. Yeah, Can they, they do it as they right. run up against Jeff and Robert? We'll see. They won them today, Dave, and uh, we'll see if they hold on to them come Monday night. Monday night, we'll 730, Mid-South Coliseum. Make your plans to be right there for a great, great car. Oh, oh yeah. USWA action. Back in a moment. We promised you the address. A lot of folks say, hey, I'd like to come down there on Saturday. How do I do it? Well, the tickets are absolutely free. All you have to do is write for them. You must write for them. You must include a self-addressed stamped envelope. Here is the address. Studio Wrestling Tickets, WMC-TV, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee. Our zip is 38104. Remember, send it to Studio Wrestling Tickets. Do not send it to me. Do not send it to Corey. That just delays it. Send it to Studio Wrestling Tickets, WMC-TV, 1960 Union, Memphis, 38104. Include the self-addressed stamped envelope. Your tickets will be mailed back to you in that envelope. If the self-addressed stamped envelope is not included, I'm afraid you won't get your ticket, so be sure to include that right there. Love to have you yeah, join us here on a Saturday. We have great crowds uh, here every Saturday. This one today, no exception. We would like you to be a part of it. 
tell you what we'd like to do right here, too. We've got uh, Brian Christopher coming up in just a moment, going against Ken Raper in a single match. And uh, we're, before we do that, though, we're going to check the USWA top ten. You had a popular request. Fans have said, hey, keep us posted on that from time to time. So we're trying to do a little bit better job of that. Number ten, Look at finally, that. in the top ten. Yeah. What a struggle it's been. Jeff Jarrett is uh, number ten on the yeah. list. Way down. Was not even on the list at all. He was a long way off oh, of it last week. Number uh, 10. Though. Number 9 on the list right now. Catman. Number 8, the Warrior. Uh, also due to the list. We saw him here today. Number 7, Bill Dundee, the superstar. Number 6, the Californian, the Sandman. He is, uh, he is in here climbing from number 7 last week. Number 5, the Grave Digger. He dropped. He dropped he from dropped, number yeah. 3 to number 5. Dr. Tom Pritchard, number four on the list. He was number eight last week, and it may not make any difference where he ranks on the list. If he doesn't defeat Eric Embry, he's out of here anyway, no matter where he ranks on yeah. the top ten. Spirit of America, number three. He was number four he last week. Notch, yeah. Not much change there, but he is uh, moving up in the right direction. Eric Embry, formerly number one, drops to number two. The number one contender is now... Jerry the King Lawler. Last week he was a champion. He lost the belt to the champion Kamala. Lawler is the number one contender, and he does, in fact, have the shot. The one rematch at Kamala coming up this week. Ken Rafer has just stepped into the ring right now. Here's Brian Christopher, one of the favorites of the fans, stepping up here. Brian, one of the new kids the new when kid, we first yeah. saw him. He can also wrestle as a single. Fans love to see him wrestle, and here we go right here against Ken. Ken, at one time, was co-holder of the, of the Southern tag team title. That was some sure. time ago. Ken Rabin, Robert Reed. Yeah, they teamed up and won those belts sometimes. It didn't hold them very long, but they can always say on their record, at one time, I held that belt. Yeah. Brian Christopher throws Ken Rabin to the ropes. Raper with an nail pole. Jumps over Brian. Comes over and again. And over again. Brian! Drop kick on Ken Raper. Brian Christopher looked good today, Dave. Great move. What a yeah. drop kick. Way up in the air. Ken Raper upset about it. Brian with a big arm takedown on Ken Raper. Ken Raper and Brian Christopher single bout today. Good bout here today. Boy, we've had some action today. We've got new USWA World Tag Team Champion. The Moon Dogs. Yeah. The Moon Dogs. They were here for some while and they're back in the area now. And boy, did they have a big showing today with their manager Richard Lee. Yeah, they came in and showed that they are going to be tough. They have always been tough, and uh, they still are. Came in with a can opener and uh, opened up Robert Fuller, who was wrestling as a single in a handicap situation to defend the world titles. He ended up not being able to defend it successfully. The Moondogs won the belts. Yeah, they won the belts, and Richard Lee out here with that whistle and all, and Moondogs with those big bones, and... They caused a lot of commotion today, but ended up the world champions. However, Ken Raper. They also ended up reunifying the team of Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett. Whoa! How about that? Ryan Christopher with the kick to the jaw of Ken Raper. Yeah, Ken Raper thought he had a smart move there and turned around, and there was Brian with a big foot on him and takes him down by the arm. Raper thought he could pull my hair. Oh, that's a right fist. He doubled it up. Yeah, another right by Raper. Picks Brian Christopher up. Body slam on Brian. Ken Raper up on the middle rope now. Coming down with an elbow. He misses. Oh, misdirection there by Brian Christopher. Good move. He made it look like he was oh. out of it. But Reverse uh, Brian tried to catch himself on the rope. Time is winding down. We've got about a minute left in the time limit. Time is running very short. Yeah, time is winding down. Brian Christopher and Ken Raper in a single bout today now. Here's Brian outside the ring now on the middle rope. Now on the top rope. Comes down. Whoa. Brian press one, two. It's he got him. It's over. New kid Brian gets the victory over Ken Raper. There's Ken Raper in the middle of the ring now wondering what in the world happened, Davey. Thought he had Brian going for a moment there. Uh -oh, uh oh, no, he no, said no, no, he no. held my tight, yeah. No, actually he didn't. That was a nice, clean victory for Brian, Brian Christopher. Yeah. We're going to check the time. Back with you after this.
action coming up here today. Let me tell you, we knew we were going to have it when it started, and new world champions. New world champions indeed. The Moon Dogs, Spot and Spike, come back to the USWA, Dave, and they take the world titles Not today. only do they have the belts, though, they ended up in reunifying the team of Robert Fuller and Jeff Jarrett, greatest uh, world champions we have ever had in the USWA. They're back together, and they've got their shot at taking those belts back from the Moon Dogs. Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. Great it, foul. It is going to be a war down there. That's all there is foul. to it. Yeah. Richard Lee will have the Boondogs out there and blowing that whistle, telling yeah. them to go get them. But they, have, they are now going to be running up against Jeff Jarrett and Robert oh, yeah. Fuller, oh, the yeah. toughest competition they're likely to find. We hope you've enjoyed it today. We hope you'll be back with us next week. Until next week, at the same time, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.